Well, hello, my friends. So, we've developed kind of a habit that we're trying to break a little bit of pretty much completely finishing our projects before we catalog them, both for ourselves and for our YouTube channel. But you can see that's a bit of a work in progress because we have started quite a bit the foundation of our greenhouse uh, that's right next to our chicken coop that we didn't catalog at all. I kind of wish we had, but oh well. Starting that today. Um, it's going to be a few day process. We're hoping maybe three or four. Today we're going to finish laying the rest of the blocks and then we have to concrete in our posts. So that'll be it for today. Uh, tomorrow will probably be more framing. And then day three, hopefully put some of the plastic glazing on. And so we have to wait a little bit and we are most certainly not professionals. So we're not gonna f uh, fly through this like a professional carpenter would, but we wanted to show you guys that even an amateur with some basic skills can create a totally functional greenhouse and uh, hopefully a beautiful greenhouse as well. So join us and uh, let's see what we come up with. So here is the completed foundation. Anyway, and then we're gonna go ahead and in each corner, probably in the middle too, we have to we'll measure out some of the posts, make a couple cuts, and then we're gonna fill in around them with uh, cement. So step one is done. What do you ladies think of all this, huh? It's like a new neighbors are moving in. Sure you would love to get into that greenhouse. <laughs> hey love, what are we building? <laughs> Trust me. She's actually a lot more excited about this than she just showed right there. So we had a pretty successful day one of the build. We're on day two. And we did all that foundation you were seeing. Now we have the posts nice and set in there. Pretty much all the way around. So today's gonna be all about framing. Just tying these all together and if that goes smooth, maybe getting into a little bit of the, uh, the plastic glazing. So I guess with that, let's get back to work.
right guys, so day five of uh, our three day build. You know, I've kind of learned to, for some of my previous builds to almost double the amount of time you think it's gonna be. And this one's kind of shaping up to be like that. Uh, ran into a couple little snags or nothing major, but things that kind of took some time. Doesn't look wildly different than last time we showed you but there was a lot of little bits of framing in there and doing the doorways and we got the windows and the doors all fit and a lot of this little brackets just to really make sure it's nice and secure so uh tomorrow hopefully we start getting into some of the plastic because I am thoroughly sick of <laughs> cutting lumber to be honest with you but I'm really pleased with how it's turning out so no complaints at all. We're almost done, finally. quick recap at the end of day six out of three and uh but it was a big day we got all this entire back wall done and you can see we have a roof so finally got some plastic work done and got some decorative pieces of these little swinging out uh corner pieces there so that'll be cool and our beautiful back wall so that's in there nice and sturdy Coming out really well. But I am ready for dinner. And I also got some pawpaw trees in today, so I gotta go plant those. The work never really stops, does it? But great day. Should only be one more. So
take a look inside. You can see we had to do a little fancy dancing with these automatic window openers because they ended up being a little bit bigger than I had thought they were going to be. Uh, we might remedy the situation later by just making the windows bigger, but for right now this plank that the opener sits on is doing just fine. She ain't pretty, but she works, so we'll We'll take it. And these are really nifty actually. There's a metal tube that expands when the temperature reaches like 66 or something and you can adjust it a little bit. And it'll actually expand and force this open. Which is really neat especially because we both work full time so sometimes we can't be here during the day and we can rely on these to open the windows for us when we're not home. I'm pretty excited for them. And the plants are happy to be in here. These shelves are temporary for now, we just had them. Eventually we do want to build some sort of shelving in here to kind of go along with the overall feel but they work for now. Same with this back wall this is all gonna be another layer of plywood insulated to help retain heat um, we're going for a very passive style greenhouse we're trying to capture the thermal heat from the sun um, so stay tuned for some updates on that as we try out different things to try to keep it as warm as possible in here so let's take a look on the outside now we are thinking at some point to do two cold frames in the front here and here so that when things are ready to come out of the greenhouse it's a short walk to bring them outside to start hardening off so we are planning to do that at some point. And there's another view of the window opening. So that worked out perfectly today. And a view of the back wall. Pretty neat. Hi ladies. What do you girls think of the greenhouse? <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and we are definitely ready to use this greenhouse and be done being carpenters because we definitely are not. We kind of got sick of it after two days but it's done and we're happy with it.